boys. Do you want to go to the bus? Do you want to go to the bus? Yeah? Let's go! <laughs> Did you get in the car without being asked? Are you being naughty? Hmm? Hello, sir. Morning ladies. Morning. What you doing up there, Bevan? I am back to cleaning today. I am working still on these top sections um, that used to be inside where the old air conditioner vents were for when this was um, a passenger bus. And so imagine, I mean this is a 34 year old bus, a 34 year old bus, can you imagine? just the amount of crap that has accumulated in 34 years. So this is, this is clean number three and we're still getting grime like this off. But I tell you what, it is so satisfying seeing white, white coming up on our bus. It's pretty epic. So the rest of the things today, I'm on cleaning duties. I'll finish doing those because that's where our overhead cabinets are going to go. So they need to be all clean so Bevan can start building those out. And then I will be cleaning the rest of the kitchen stuff. And Bevan is installing our Max Air Fan. That's going to go up here. Um, so he's going to be installing that through the roof. And also he's going to be installing one in here, which is just a little hatch for the bathroom so that we can lower condensation when we're having showers and things in the bus. So that's us today. Um, and then Bevan may get to some more building stuff. So well, let's do it. It's gonna be a great day. Someone was living in here. Bevan, explain to the people what you're doing. I am drilling out for the old maxi fan. And how are you going to cut the hole in the roof? With a grinder. With a grinder? <laughs> well, first I'm pre-drilling from underneath so I get the exact location of where I want the uh, fan to sit. And then I'll go upstairs and mark it out, grind it from up top. And then I'm going to cut out a fan over there too. Oh, actually no, for the inlet, outlet. Sounds good. And then while you're grinding, I'm in here making sure that nothing sets on fire. Yep. And what yep. do I do if it does set on fire? Put it out. With what? Wow, well, this bucket of water, <laughs> with cloth, <laughs> and there's a fire extinguisher over there. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of sparks came down, Bevan. Okay. Yeah, you're such a handy husband. You're very good at all of the handy things. I 
wish that was the height of the bus itself. Wouldn't that be amazing? It's like a giraffe. <laughs> Next bus, Rondé. Next bus, you'll get your height. What you thinking about? Uh, the covering of the existing um, sheet metal covering this old whirly bird. Mounts on the same spot, so just, uh, you know. So pretty, so pretty, hey? Gorgeous. Since moving to New Zealand, cows have become my favourite animal. I never realised how pretty they were. Look how pretty she is. My gosh, my gosh. So we're not going to keep that one, hey, Bev? Little cracker, fireplace. Ah, the old fireplace. Beautiful day. Beautiful. So yesterday we went and stopped into a caravan place to get the vent for the shower. And while we were there, there was our exact bus, one year younger, so it was an 88, ours was an 87, the exact same bus, same length, fully fitted out. So we got to go inside, we asked Manny, he was like, sure, go for it. We went inside, got a feel for the size and how they'd laid it out and everything. It's pretty crap, to be honest. Um, ours is going to look so much better. They'd fit it out more to look like a caravan, whereas we're fitting it out more to look like a home. But we did get one really great idea from walking through, and that is that if you look behind me, our front window is actually a lot bigger than most buses' front windows. It goes all the way up. And this bus that we looked through yesterday, they utilize the top section of the front window for cabinetry. So we are going to add cabinets in along the top of that there to sort of go in line with how far out this comes to. We are going to be swapping that out for our own cabinets, but that could probably be a project down the track. Um, but I think that that will look really cool. And it's a space that can be fully utilized. So that's a bit awesome. Being in here and seeing the size of our bedroom space makes me so grateful that we could fit a super king in here. I'm really, really excited about that. It just gives us so much more, um, like, because it's going to be a lot of our living space, because we've got a shorter bus than um, what most people that live in buses have. So if you look behind me, that frame is a queen. So most people have just a queen in their bus, and that's the size of their bed, whereas ours will be going all the way out um, with about that much space between each side. Just giving... So much more lounging area and especially with the two dogs as well that love to be on the bed and this is going to be our entertainment area as well so our couches down the front are not where we're going to sit and watch movies or anything we are mounting a TV up on the back of our bathroom here and it will swivel out and this is going to be our lounging area I'm guessing that we'll probably do a lot of work from bed as well um, we do have a desk space but just to be able to utilize that space, put your feet up. Um, because when we're in the bus, it's downtime. Because when it's not downtime, we're gonna be outside, we're gonna be doing things, you know, it's when Bevan gets home from work and things like that, but then we're lounging in here. So it's so great to have that giant space. We have just taken the stoppers out of the windows that were these little hingy things sitting here so that we can now open them full because that's only as far as they would open before. So now we can fully open our windows, which is awesome for air filtration, but I needed to get them off so that I can clean all of this. Lovely, juicy, juicy. It's our first roommate. How you going, mate? Welcome to this beautiful abode. The Max Air Fan is in. We've just got a, um, obviously when we put the roofing on, then we'll frame it out around there. It's like the glove, So this baby, 
hang on, I'll turn myself around and tell you the purpose. So the point of the Max Air fan is that it, number one, has got a rain cover so you can have it open and it can be pulling in fresh air even when it's raining and that is important when you live in New Zealand. But the other thing that it does is it's got an exhaust um, function as well. So you can either pull fresh in air from the outside or you can pull air in from the inside out. And where we have placed it is very strategic because um, this is where our cooktop will be. So we can have the exhaust fan on while we're cooking. Um, but we we'll likely just open these windows up though as well. But if it's a stormy, crazy day or if it's freezing, obviously you don't want the windows open. So having the Max Air fan is perfection. It's a very hot day today. And our little boys are sunned out and they found a cool spot. Good boys. The awesome thing about the new summer, the amazing thing about the weather here in New Zealand is that in the sun, it's really hot today. It's really, really hot. However, in the shade, as soon as you're in the shade, you get this beautiful cool breeze and it's so refreshing. Unlike Australia, where when it's hot in the sun, it's hot in the shade, it's hot inside, it's hot everywhere, it's like that all-consuming heat. Whereas New Zealand's just this searing hot sun, way hotter than the Australian sun. So today's 26, but the sun feels like a 40 degree Australia weather day. Um, but then, as soon as you're in the shade, it's just like one of those beautiful sort of autumn days, like late autumn days. But then, if you want hot sunshine, you can go lay out and literally get roasted in 30 seconds. It feels amazing. <laughs> so the boys are loving that they found their little piece of shade. I tell you what, having this exit door here in our bedroom is going to be bliss. Bliss can lay out here at the end of the bed and just have the flowing air. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day and there's going to be many more long days. But just knowing that the more we push through, the faster we get to move in to our beautiful new home is just such good motivation. Um, which I've been motiv motivating myself for the last couple of hours, but I think I've hit my wall. Until next time.